In this video, we're gonna talk about a sales assistant built an $8 billion fashion empire. So before starting this video, like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. After spending his childhood in a low-income section of the Bronx, the American fashion designer Rolf Lauren has worked his way up to a fortune estimated at $7 billion. Rolf Lauren went from rags to riches. The businessman who served in the army and worked previously as a clerk made his fortune with a polo clothing brand, which was established in 1968. Rolf Lauren, who would later become famous as a fashion designer, was born Rolf Lifschitz in 1939 in the Bronx of New York City. His parents, Frank and Fredo, were responsible for Lauren's upbringing. The man and woman had immigrated to the United States from Europe, and their family included four children, one of whom was named Rolf. Despite having to share a bedroom with his two brothers and having to grow up in cramped quarters, Lauren had what he considers to have been a joyful childhood. When Rolf was a teenager, he was well known for his one-of-a-kind sense of style. He was drawn to looks that combined traditional elegance with traditional preppy style. The individual styles of the Hollywood legends like Fred Astaire and Cary Grant served as a source of motivation for him. Lauren's deep love of clothes required him to get a job in order to support his interest in fashion. As a result, Lauren got a part-time job in order to support his passion for clothing. After completing his high school education and earning his diploma, Rolf enrolled in the business program at Baruch College in Manhattan. He attended the school for a total of two years before deciding that he was not interested in the field. When Lauren was called up for the military service in 1962, his entire life was turned upside down. After completing his education, he served in the United States of Army for a period of two years before beginning his career in the fashion industry. In 1964, shortly after Rolf's discharge from the military, he wed Ricky Anna Lobier, and the couple went on to have three children together. This year marks the beginning of the 56th year of marriage celebrations. Lauren has never failed to emphasize the significance of pursuing one's dreams. Lauren once made a remark about how people frequently question him about the inspiration behind his designs. He made the following statement. People ask how it's possible for a Jewish kid from the Bronx to do preppy clothes. Does it have anything to do with his social status or wealth? It's connected to our waking fantasies. In the course of Lauren's business career, he has repeatedly demonstrated that it's not necessary to come from a wealthy background in order to achieve success. Rolf Lauren began his fashion career with a straightforward intention of designing garments that he would like to wear. As he was dissatisfied with the trends in men's fashion at the time, he made the decision to design clothes specifically for himself. At the age of 24, he started working as a salesman for Brooks Brothers in New York, officially turning his interest in fashion into a career path in the process. In 1967, Rolf Lauren launched his namesake label of men's neckties, marking the beginning of what would become the Rolf Lauren Corporation. He attributes the success of the ties to the fact that they were unique in comparison to the other ties that were available on the market at the time and describes them as white and unusual. In addition to selling his ties from a draw in the lobby of the Empire State Building in New York City, Rolf went from store to store peddling his wares to customers. Rolf pursued his passion for fashion even further and established a clothing line as his career began to take off. He established the Polo brand which not only marked clothing but also a certain way of life. When he asked about the Ralph Lauren brand, Ralph Lauren made the following statement, The clothes that I design and everything I have done is about life and how people live and how they want to live and how they dream they will live. That's the kind of work I do. Lauren has referred to the design aesthetic of the Polo clothing line as having a tweedy English-American look with a French cut in relation to his own creation for the line. The decade of the 1970s was a prosperous time for the Ralph Lauren brand. This was the decade in which Ralph Lauren introduced the Vemin collection as well as the signature cotton polo shirt of the brand. The Ralph Lauren Corporation began with the polo line and has since developed into a genuine lifestyle brand, offering products under the Ralph Lauren name in four distinct categories. 
including apparel, home, accessories, and fragrances. This transformation began with the Polo line. Throughout his career, Lauren has also designed the uniform for the United States Olympic team on multiple occasions. He has also designed the costumes for a number of well-known films, such as Annie Hall and The Great Gatsby, 1974. With a fortune that exceeds $6 billion, Ralph Lauren is widely regarded as one of the most successful fashion designers in the world. Lauren rose from his modest beginnings as a young boy living in the Bronx to become a well-known household name all over the world by toiling tirelessly, remaining determined, and pursuing his dreams. Helping those in need Ralph Lauren has built a reputation for himself as a philanthropist over the course of his entire life. In the 1980s, Lauren was given a diagnosis of having a tumor on his brain. He was fortunate enough to be able to get the tumor removed before it could cause any damage, and as a result, he made a full recovery. The majority of the Lauren's charitable contributions to go toward supporting cancer research and treatment, most likely as a direct consequence of his own personal experience with a brain tumor that required surgery. In 1989, Lauren helped establish the Nina Hyde Center for Breast Cancer Research at the Georgetown University. Since then, he has collaborated with a number of organizations that support cancer research, including the Pink Pony Campaign, the Ralph Lauren Center for Cancer Care and Prevention in Harlem, and the Royal Merceden NHS Foundation Trust. Despite the fact that Lauren is more than deserving of the title, he takes offense at being referred to as a philanthropist because he considers his charitable work to be more coming from the heart. In June 2016, there were rumors that Ralph Lauren brand was experiencing difficulties in certain markets. Analysts blamed discounting and lower-end products, claiming that they tarnished the company's image, while also citing a failure to attract younger customers as a contributing factor. The fashion designer's response was to introduce wearable technology in the form of a fitness technology shirt in conjunction with a mobile application in the year 2017. The Polo TechSmart T-shirt, a piece of athletic wear, was a pioneer in the technology of physical tracking. It had sensors built into it that monitored the wearer's heart rate, breathing, level of stress, and the number of calories they burned. A data stream was sent to an application which then produced and visualized exercise routines. This gave Polo Sport the ability to compete with the industry leaders like the Nike and Adidas, among others. Current day, the designer, who is now 79 years old, is enjoying the results of his hard work. The young boy, who hoped one day to be worth a million dollars, is now worth multiple billions of dollars and owns mansions in Long Island, Jamaica. Bedford, Manhattan, in addition to 17,000 acre range in Colorado. His collection of automobiles is widely considered to be among the most valuable in the world. He was once quoted as having said, For me, owning a rare and magnificently designed car offers a different kind of experience. You are able to appreciate both the aesthetic value of the device and the experience it affords you. He is of the opinion that one of the reasons for his success is that he has style and does not follow fashion. He is famous for having said, fashion fades away so quickly, style is forever. Well said that man. Get up to the best possible start with Headspace's flexible workspaces and co-working offices if you're hoping to launch your own racks to riches story and build your own company from the ground up. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit the subscribe button before you go.